Hello guys, in the last video we have learned about some basics about regular expressions and in this tutorial we're going to look a little bit deeper into this topic. So we have seen that we can use this sign here to mean that we want either the uppercase H or the lowercase H. Actually, we could simply remove it because mm, when we use this brackets here, we, we mean that uh, any single character that inside of them is going to be matched. So it doesn't matter with, if we use this OR sign here. This credit brackets already means that any single character is going to be matched. So if we run the code, we get the same results as before. So maybe uh, we could remove this hole here to see what happens. So we get parts of words, not, not actually the complete words. What can we do to get the complete words, not parts of them? We could simply say that our pattern starts with uh, a space and ends with a space. So this here means space. Let's run the code and now we do not get anything. Let's remove this all here. Okay, so now we have uh, a word, hell. What if we want uh, to find the hell word or the hello word? We could simply, inside parentheses, uh, say that we want all or maybe not. So we use this question mark here to mean that all can appear one time or it cannot appear. Let's run the code and we get hello and the hell words. We can have a use of the described records here, but for the sake of learning new things, let's use the parentheses. Now, before moving into something different, let's just mention that we could include this sign here uh, just after the open brackets. So it means that any single character inside them is not going to be matched. With that said, let's move into something different. Let's say we have here uh, inside our string a web link. Let's say go to www.youtube.com. What can we do? How can we write a pattern that describes a web link? First of all, we know that we start with a uh, three www. So let's include the parentheses here and put the W and inside curly brackets, let's say how many times we want W to appear. So we want three times and we use three. We could simply say www all inside the parentheses, but since we are learning new things, let's use the curly brackets. Okay, what comes next? A dot sign. To use a dot sign, we have to put two backslashes like this and the dot, of course. So the next thing we can have is a, a sequence of letters. That means uh, from A to Z. And it can repeat uh, one time or more. So we use this plus sign here. Again, we have a dot. We're going to have a dot and another sequence of letters from A to Z and that can happen from one time to more times so we use the plus sign again. Let's run the code. So we found our web link, we matched it. What if we have hmm, a number here? A number here uh, and we try? Nothing is going to happen. Our code doesn't find this string, this web address, so we have to include that inside these dots, we can have also numbers. So we do this by saying that we can have numbers from 0 to 9. So we use this for sign here, and again here we can also say that we can have from 0 to 9. That repeats itself or one or more times. So let's run. Okay, we found it. Very good. Now, we can make this simple by looking at this thing here, this equals 
to this thing here. So we could just put everything here inside parentheses and say that these things here can appear uh, one or more. Well, let's say uh, two times or more times. So we use this comma here inside the curly brackets. So we have the same result. Our code, our string here uh, is simpler and we have the same result. So maybe inside our string we have an address that includes a slash like this and then hello then load. How can we include this inside our pattern? So let's just do parentheses then two backslashes because we want this slash here to be a character not a symbol like uh, this plus here or this or sign so we have to use two backslashes and after we can have letters from A to Z or numbers from 0 to 9 Oops. so all this thing here can appear uh, several times, one time, or just not appear. So we use parentheses here, let's include all this thing inside parentheses, and say that it can appear zero or more times. So we use this star here, the asterisk. Okay, let's run our code, and then we get it. All the, the thing here. Now, just let's just remove this to see that our pattern still works. Okay, the web address here with the same pattern. So maybe we have an address like this, slash hello.html. So we have to include the possibility of having a dot and then another string of characters. Uh, so let's go here uh, after the this part. Let's just include the possibility of having uh, a point and a, uh, a string of characters that goes from A to Z, just letters, and that can appear once or more times. So all this thing here can appear or not. So let's use uh, this figure, the, the question mark. Let's go, run our code. Okay, we got it. Maybe let's just put low load like this. Then we got it again. So we have written a pattern that can find pretty much any web address inside a string. Just to fix this, I'm going to write here two instead of three because we can have an address like this, google.com. So it can find again our address now very simple address if we had three here it would not find simply because a dot and then a sequence of letters or numbers appear only three times or more in this case we have it appearing only two times so we have to include two here because it can appear two or more times i forgot about that so that's it for this lesson, thank you for watching and subscribe.